Can you feel it, Alec? That cell that's going to be uh, your new home, if indeed you are found guilty of the crime you committed. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, yeah, Alec Baldwin is worried sick. He'll be sent to prison for shooting a rush cinematographer after shocking new evidence emerges. Now, somebody doesn't get worried unless for two reasons. Either you are so diehard in convi or being convinced of your innocence that you are afraid of being unjustly incarcerated. Or, you know you're guilty and you're afraid that you're going to actually have to do the time for your crime. That is the case right here. Anyway, let's get into this article, folks. The involuntary manslaughter charges against Alec Baldwin in connection to the death of Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins were dropped in late April. But new evidence has the actor concerned that his legal battle may be far from over. Although Baldwin claimed that he never pulled the trigger of the Colt 45 that killed the 42-year-old filmmaker, firearms expert working with New Mexico authorities revealed that couldn't be true, according to their research. Meaning they re or they put the gun back together and they tested it over and over. And they found there's no way that gun could have fired without the trigger being pulled. So, although Alec Baldwin repeatedly denies pulling the trigger, given the tests, findings, and observations reported here, the trigger had to be pulled or depressed sufficiently to release a fully cocked or retracted hammer of the evidence revolver, a source dish or dished per RadarOnline.com. He's losing it, an insider told separate news outlet regarding the shocking findings. He's worried sick he could end up behind bars. Well, he should be behind bars. This man took a person's life. Accident or no, accountability must be held, and had as well. As OK previously reported, Hutchins was fatally shot in October 2021, after Baldwin pointed the weapon in the direction of the camera while practicing a cross-draw, director Joel Souza was also shot in the tragic incident or accident. His injuries were minor and he was released from the hospital the next day. The boss baby voice actor was maintained that the gun was not supposed to have any live rounds in it and that he did not even pull the trigger. His attorney, Luke Nickus, claimed that his client had no reason to believe that there was a live bullet in the gun or anywhere on the movie set, and that he'd trusted the knowledge and direction of the set armorer who assumed or assured him the gun did not have live rounds. So, yeah, turned out that was not uh, correct. However, three Russ crew members, Ross Adiego, Doran Curtin, and Reese Price later sued Baldwin for negligence and emotional distress, claiming there would or there were many instances that safety protocols were ignored by the production team. The 65-year-old requested a civil suit be dismissed, but New Mexico judge denied the motion earlier this month. Never miss or yeah. And that is all there is to this story. This is a developing folks. So apparently, yeah. He's worried that he's going to actually have to be held responsible for the crime he committed. And, well, yeah, that does end up being a prison sentence. You killed a person, Alec. You're going to have to live with it. And now you're going to have to do the time for it. Because you pointed a gun at somebody, pulled the trigger, and a life was ended. Regardless of whether you thought it was loaded or not, you were reportedly skipping safety drills from the armorer that she testified or was going to testify that you never uh, addressed. Your production was cutting safety corners 
you hired a an inexperienced armorer for this movie. And apparently, people were doing a little plinking or plink shooting in the off time with that very gun. So anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Are you hoping that justice for Helena will happen? Do you think he should be behind bars? What do you think of him being worried sick? Let me know all that. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out all my links in the description down below. And yeah, check out any of these videos over here. Or if you feel so inclined, check out some of the playlists. Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful day. And always remember, stay humble.